Hi, I'm Loopy Jam, and welcome to my Loopy Land. Join me as we spill the tea on social anxiety this week. Uh, where shall I start? Okay, first off, I'm gonna start off with look at this top. I went to a jumble sale today, and I got this top there. Oh, I saw this lion. I was getting confused. It's the shadow from my cup. <laughs> I got this top at a jumble sale today. I keep getting distracted, help. I got this top at a jumble sale today. Look how cute it is. Look, hugs. There's a cactus and it's so cute and I love it. And it was one pound. Yeah, so I challenged myself by going to a jumble sale by myself. I didn't really talk to anyone. I was a bit too awkward. Um, ah, I burnt my fingers on the tea. The tea is too hot! Ah. Well, so, one of the main things that kind of happened this week I finished my intermediate photography course So if you didn't know, I... Well, a few months ago, I signed up for a beginner's photography course Hi, I'm Loopy Jim And I'm at the college <laughs> This is actually the area where I had a panic attack when I came here before, so it's really weird being back here. I'm also lost. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going really. And then once that finished, it was a six week long course. It was a six week long course and once that finished, I then went on to the intermediate photography course. I actually couldn't decide whether to do intermediate photography or songwriting so I did an Instagram poll to see what others thought and photography won so I did that. Hopefully the songwriting will come up again because fun fact I actually am really interested in making songs and stuff like that so yeah intermediate photography course is finished now which I'm a bit gutted about. <coughs> I'm choking on an almond. Where have my almonds gone? Oh, they're there. I mean, some almonds. How do you say it? Almonds or almonds? I call them almonds. Um, yeah. I was a bit gutted it finished. I really enjoyed it. I feel like I didn't really learn that much, to be honest. Like, I kind of feel like it wasn't worth the money, but it was nice to just experience something new, get out there, you know, meet new people, have some fun. There's some really lovely people on that course. Um, what else? Really exciting thing, what happened at work. So for those of you that, oh look. So for those of you that don't know, I work at an ice cream factory and the other day they decided to get me on one of the ice cream machines and I've never done this before I've always been too scared like I feel like I'm gonna mess it up everything's gonna go wrong because you have to work very quickly like with the machines and so I was like oh like I don't know if I can do it blah 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 and he was like oh it's okay like if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it and so I was like oh, I'll think about it and then I thought about it and I was like this is the year where I'm meant to be challenging myself. That would be so stupid if I gave up on that. Like, it's something that, like, scares me in that. So, like, it'd be a bit pointless if I'm challenging myself this year and then I didn't challenge myself by doing something that scares me, you know what I mean? So I went up to him and I was like, I'll do it. I'll do the ice cream machine. And so I got taught how to do the ice cream machine and once I was on it it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be it was actually like not that hard they were running it really slow for me though so I feel like if it was like once I get used to it and get quicker I, I might be a bit more like Ugh! but it wasn't that bad so yeah like a lot of the time I think our minds just hold us back like for me my mind had created this image that the machine was really scary 
you know, if you mess up, you'll get told off, blah, blah, blah. So it created this negative fear around it. And once I was on it, I was fine. It was nothing like I expected it to be. Um, what else? Oh yeah, another thing. <coughs> I'm choking on an almond again. <coughs> another thing. My dad shouted at me. Another thing with the machine. When I was on the machine, in my head I would be like, oh, you know, I'm so bad at it, blah, blah, blah. And I noticed that when I was thinking negatively like this, I was finding it more difficult to do. But once I flipped my mind and was thinking more positively, like, oh yes, I will get one that's perfect, like, ah, oh, I'll make it, like, really perfect and nice and neat, I started to get better. And so that's another thing where the mind is really a powerful thing, because the way you think about things can actually affect how it happens. So if you're thinking negatively, negative things are going to happen. If you're thinking positively, being there. If you're thinking positively, positive things are going to happen. Um, I feel like there's some other stuff I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember. I should really like make notes of things that happen so then I can talk about them. Um, oh, I, d I don't think I've said this. Wait, did I say this in my last video? I've joined a karate class now. I've been to three lessons now. And my next one is tomorrow. I actually really love it so far. It's really fun. I've been enjoying it. This tea is hurting my wrist. Who knew tea could be so heavy? <laughs> um, I cannot wait to get my karate gi, which is the uniform. Like, I don't know why, I'm just super excited about wearing it. Um, so yeah, I've been driving to my karate lessons by myself, I've been going like in by myself and stuff. Like with the first lesson I did get my dad to come with me to make sure I was going to the right place and all that kind of stuff, because uh, I was a bit nervous, but you know, I'm okay now, I can go by myself. Um, I'm helping backstage with a theatre show. I recently joined a theatre group and so I'm going to be helping backstage with a show that's coming soon and so I went to a rehearsal today by myself I actually spoke to some people, that was cool and oh I had to run through the town because my parking ticket was running out so I ran through the town and had to run back and my calves are killing me right now. My calves are hurting so bad. So hot. Um. Oh, another thing where I challenged myself. So going back to photography. I actually decided to send one of my pictures into a newspaper. Because uh, there's this newspaper and they do this thing where readers can send in their pictures and they'll like pick a winner and stuff blah blah so I have sent in one of my pictures so we might be seeing that in the paper soon I was actually really scared to do that it's something I've always wanted to do but I've always felt like oh I'm not good enough blah 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 so I was like YOLO <laughs> I'ma send a picture in oh yeah my voice keeps going weird I'm very sorry I don't know why uh, also, when I was in town today, I bumped into this girl, who I'm like kind of friends with. My mum just sneezed. Mum, that's probably in my video now. She ignored me. Like she always does. <laughs> Not really. Just kidding. Um.
I'm drinking chamomile tea again. It looks like pee, like, I can't really show you very well, but it's literally like a dark yellow pea colour. <laughs> I'll do. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!